search and destroy strategy, crossfire, defense. Keep in mind this is not one continuous game, it's only meant to show you one or two possible pathways you can take out of thousands available. We're going to be defending B. We're going to come through here and I'm just going to pause it right here. Uh, basically, a lot of you, if you've played this, you know that window and getting through there uh, tends to cause a lot of headaches for a lot of people because of people like myself who always throw a grenade there and usually are able to catch someone coming through. It's important if you're going to do this, if you want to, I mean, you can do it with any other configuration, but if you want to increase the the percentage, the number of times that you're actually going to be successful, what you're going to want to do is have extreme conditioning on and an, an SMG. The SMG is light. It allows you to run faster and longer, and obviously the extreme conditioning will extend that even further. So what you're going to want to do is definitely put that on and you're going to run straight for it. The next key element in order to avoid getting hit by a grenade is your jump. You must, uh, you're going to see me jump over this. It must be done in one clear, you have to get the timing right. I would suggest if, if you can't get it right and you don't play it enough, go into a private match and just practice sprinting through and jumping through with one jump. If you don't make it through in one jump and you fumble or you stumble on that, that's when you're going to eat a grenade. So make sure that you rush through there, one jump over that ledge and quickly to the right to avoid that grenade getting blown up. All right, once we're actually through that opening there, we're gonna go into the room up here. I'm gonna pause it right here. This area here, actually, I do one of two things. Normally when you run through there and you go into that room up upstairs where we were before we dropped down into here, um, if someone has rushed from the other side, there's a good chance that they're gonna be in there, just kind of like what I do on offense when I go straight into that room. So be prepared to kill someone there. If there's no one there, you don't hear anyone, there's no signs in them anywhere. I usually proceed out here and hug this side. Number one, again, most of the time they will not come from behind you, only because that's a fairly dangerous spot to be coming across, right across the street, and anyone in the building across has an easy sight line to them. So being here is actually not that dangerous. And you can actually catch anyone running across from the street, um, up top, jumping down from where the ladder is at the end of the uh, what we're looking at there or coming out of the uh, the bottom of the building, which is actually what we see a guy coming out there and we uh, try and nail that guy. And I just want to make, I know it sounds preachy and everything like that, if you want to act like Billy the Kid and go running around, and maybe you're good at that, that's great. But for those that want to learn sort of a tactical, uh, sort of planned, strategic thing, you're defending a bomb site. Don't go running you know, halfway across the map. I mean, there are those that do that, and usually Spider Bite's the one that does that, but he knows that I'm hanging around the bomb site, so he can do that when we're playing together, and he, and he does do that. But in this case here, you you want to defend the bomb site, so why are you running around everywhere? I hang around there, I go in the building and out. There's a guy from the inside of the building. I switch to my handgun, because I don't know if I'm going to counter him right there, and I don't want to be reloading. So I set up a claymore in case he's trying to flank me, if he does surprise me. Get a bit of time here, so I reload. I set up another claymore because I want to watch that bomb. I can't be watching the back there. And there he is. Probably got injured by the claymore, which made it easier for me to kill him. Now there's one more enemy player on the other side. He seems to be cleaning up uh, two, or at least one of my teammates. And then uh, I team up with the, another one of my teammates on this side here. And we sort of corner him there. Which is the best way. If you know where he is, don't, like, that guy's actually going to bite it. But if you know where he is, don't don't wait. And he's the last one. We're both sort of coming in on him. He's going to be distracted by one or the other. All right, we're going to be. Make sure you're pushing up on your controller uh, before the round even starts to get a jump. Remember, one jump through this window. Don't waste time. If you're held up by any means, hold back because that grenade's probably going to kill you. You can actually hear the grenades going off there. So it's important that you rush. Now I heard someone, so I'm not planting my normal claymores. There he is. I'm actually going to do a, a horrible dance around here. Getting very lucky. Then I go down and I dance around with him. Luckily he's a horrible shot. Evidently so am I. Anyway, we knife him. We go back up. Now I know at least he's probably the rusher. So uh, I'm going to set up my claymores. Anyone trying to come in from that way and on the rear. And I'm actually going to set this one inside. Make sure it's against the wall. I usually do that or on the outside they're covering that entrance there. If it doesn't kill them, uh, again, I know that they're coming through, but in terms of kill, it's like 50-50. Now I'm checking across the way at the top there. I'm actually going to hear someone drop. 
And that guy across the way there, if you see someone up there, pulse it with the uh, SMG and you can usually kill him. You, but make sure you have silencer so no one knows where you are. So I heard someone drop from that floor. And there he is. Alright, so we're going to take a couple of shots, keep them moving. I probably should have switched to my handgun here, but there you go. Alright, we're going to be going to B again. We're going to be pushing up before the round starts. One jump over this window and straight up. Don't hesitate there or you'll die. We're going to set up a claymore here. Actually, another guy's following me, which distracts an enemy on the outside, and I nab that guy. Right there. And once he's done, again, don't be waiting for any of this up. And there's the other claymore that just went off in the, uh, in the room there. So I'm going to set this one up here in case anyone tries to rush in the room. Uh, you know, I like to pick up other weapons if, if I'm comfortable with them. Make sure that uh, they're loaded. Now I'm actually going to... This is a, a bit of a stall here. I'm waiting because I know that on the other side there, there's likely, if someone comes in the room, I've got that claymore to help let me know. But here, you know, it's you're fairly concealed and I'm listening, I'm watching the map. So they actually plant the bomb and I actually have to go and pursue them. But I'd rather cover this. Uh, and the people that whine about camping, well, they can tell me that... Uh, I was camping once I'm done annihilating their teammates because uh, they're sitting in the lobby right now. There we go. So he plants. I immediately, you got to move fast. Don't, don't waste time when you see that if you're close by. And that's why it's good to hang out. Because if I wasn't anywhere near there, I wouldn't have gotten that guy. So I throw a little smoke. I know there's one guy left. Might as well use it. I try and to uh, defuse. Grenade's coming in, so I get the heck out of there. Sorry for the uh, score screen there. He comes in through the smoke, not knowing where he's going killed and then I defuse to win the game. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. For more strategies and tactics on Call of Duty, Modern Warfare, and World at War, visit nextgentactics.com.